Hi guys, so this is going to be a video about my skincare routine and unfortunately my usually totally clear, like smooth, amazing skin that I finally managed to achieve through my skincare routine that I'm going to show you eh, has been a little bit messed up due to trying some new products and every single time I do that I regret it horribly. It's probably going to take I mean, it's been like two weeks right now, but it's probably going to be like another three before it's back to normal. So I just wanted to address that first. So my skin's not perfect right now. Um, I've been waiting as long as I can to make this video because I didn't want, you know, my skin to look bad and be confusing you guys. Like thinking, oh, well, if that works well, why did she break out still? Um, but no, I just tried something new. Um, and I just want to go back to my last video which was my first one and it was on the YSL um, Tushy Claw Foundation and since it is now fall and my tan is completely faded and I'm no longer self tanning at all um, I actually got rematched and the shade I'm in right now is BD10 so I've gone all the way down to that if you are like NC20 in MAC which I don't use but um, I did check for a match and I would be NC20 right now. Um, BD10 is really good for that. But um, one thing I forgot to mention in that video is that a lot of people who don't like the Touche Cloth Foundation prefer more coverage than I do. Um, I actually don't really need to cover much of anything normally. So I prefer tinted moisturizers. Um, I have dry skin. So... I'm not really a fan of the foundations that a lot of other people on YouTube like. Um, you know, there's one girl I watch, um, Rayview, and she does not really think that the Tushy Cloth Foundation is really worth it. She doesn't really like it that much because she prefers more coverage. So if you have um, sunspots or freckles or things like that that you want to cover up, redness, things like that. Um, maybe check out her videos. There's a few foundations that she absolutely loves. You know, one of them is the Lancome 24 Hour. Um, I'm not sure the full name of that, but I'll put a link um, in the description box so you can check out her channel um, if you like foundations like that. So yeah, I'll just get into my skincare routine. Um, I use exclusively Kate Somerville products and I have never received anything for free unless it was like a gift with purchase. Um, I bought all of this with my own money. Um, I haven't won any contests, nothing, absolutely everything I just paid for. So I do use exclusively Kate Somerville but that is just because that's what works for me and it's not that I was given these things or I'm promoting them to you. So definitely one of the things that I've, I mean I've tried like every skincare line, basically like everything at Sephora, everything at Nordstrom, and I've tried drugstore things in the past, and basically what my skin's issue is, is that my skin cells are kind of sticky, so when my skin cells die, they just build up, and I need to exfoliate them off, and I need to make sure my skin stays hydrated and sometimes it's really hard to hydrate your skin if you have dead skin cells built up and I'll get into it the scrub in a second but um, to start out with every single day day and night I wash my face and I use the Kate Somerville let's see if you can see this um, the gentle daily wash um, it's just in a white tube like this and it has no sulfates in it and it has a slight lavender smell. Um, it's just really gentle, but it manages to clean everything out of my pores. When I used toners, there'd be nothing on the cotton ball. So I stopped using them and just used this cleanser. Um, you don't need to, frankly, but if you can, I would definitely say, you know, use it with Clarisonic. This is a shocking pink Mia 2. Okay, now besides cleansing, like I said, exfoliating is like a really big thing for me. And most scrubs and things like that, they don't really remove the dead skin. They 
kind of rough up your face a little bit. They pry some of the dead skin cells off with a scrubbing action. But unless you're scrubbing for like five hours or getting a microdermabrasion treatment, you're not going to be able to get that dullness to go away simply because the skin cells, they don't really want to come off like that. And the more you use a scrub, the more you have to because it tends to cause your skin to get rougher and drier and that's just a really bad thing if you have dry skin the way that I do. But even if you have oily skin, um, it's really important to use something that has enzymes like glycolic acid or, well, glycolic acid or enzymes like papaya and pineapple and things like that. So anyone who's tried this product knows what I'm talking about. This is absolutely the best thing ever. Um, it's a Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is a huge size, the five ounce. This is really expensive and people will be like, oh my god, holy crap. $175 for a scrub, but it's not really a scrub. It's a treatment scrub enzyme mask type of exfoliator and you use it twice a week. Um, sometimes I only use it once, but I've used it, you know, when it's really, really dry and I really need to get dead skin cells off. I use it like every other day. Um, and the more you use it, the more you're able to tolerate the enzymes, but they do tingle a lot. Like, um, one of my friends used to say that it like burned her face off. So, it's not really that bad. She's a kind of a baby, but this, this is seriously the best thing. This is the reason why I don't break out. And if I start to get some pimples, I will use this and they'll be gone in a couple of days normally. If there's not some kind of disaster going on, like trying a wacko new line of products. Okay, so after my face is cleansed and exfoliated, um, during warm weather or humid weather, um, I normally would use the Peter Thomas Roth. I don't know if you can see this because it's clear, but this is like glycolic acid 10% hydrating gel. Um, and I use this as a serum, and I know that people with oily skin use this gel as like a moisturizer, but I have <laughs> really dry skin, so I just use that under my moisturizer. Um, in the fall, winter, um, early spring, what I use is the Quench Serum. Not the oil-free, but the regular Quench from Kate Somerville. Um, this is for dry skin. It has like a small amount of retinol in it, but I don't know how much it actually is because I don't notice anything. It's basically like a really smooth serum. It's a little bit silicone-y feeling. Um, and it just, it goes in, it hydrates, it plumps, and it makes the face, the skin like glow. Like it looks red carpet honestly and that's interesting because a lot of the people on the red carpet actually go to Kate Somerville and they use this. Um, they get treatments, get facials there and they always use their quench and it gives them that glow. So definitely is amazing. I love it. It works really well. Um, if you have oily acne prone skin there is an oil free version I would not recommend the one I just showed you for people who get a lot of oil and acne because it is kind of slippery, does have dimethicone in it, um, doesn't have any like dimethicone cross polymers or crap like that, but it does have the potential to, you know, increase the oil problem if you have that. Then my face cream. There are two good face creams for me personally. Um, Kate makes a cream called Nourish and that's good for like normal skin um, and sensitive skin. But it has a fragrance and it's a little bit less moisturizing than the one I used which is the goat milk cream. And this is just a really good like lightweight but super moisturizing moisturizer and it sinks in really good 
and I love to layer this over my serum, whichever one I'm using, and it makes a really big difference. Okay, then eye cream. This is a really long video, but this eye cream totally changed my life. Um, this is the Kate Somerville Cytosal eye cream, and it's for dark circles. Um, I hate to waste this, but I'll show you guys anyway. It comes in a, a pump like this, and you can see on the side where it is, it's like a little airless pump. And I never push this thing all the way down. I'm not going to. Seriously, let's see if you can see this. That tiny thing, that's all I need for both my eyes. And I actually put this all under my eye, in here, and all over my entire eyelid. And I've never had any irritation or anything whatsoever from this eye cream. And I don't really know or care if you're supposed to do that or not. I don't want to have saggy eyelids when I get older, so I always put eye cream on my eyelids. Um, this isn't really marketed as a super firming eye cream so if you're you know not worried about dark circles at all there's you know a, a lot of other eye creams out there but I had like navy blue under eye circles and after like, two days of using this they were like a really bright blue <laughs> have my little um floss things um it turned more of like this bright color right here um, and really faded but it used to be like navy and then after a while they just were completely gone so if you have dark circles this is definitely the best one I've ever used and I think it got the Allure Reader's Choice. I'm not sure if that was just last year or if it won again this year or not I haven't checked my magazine but it is definitely the best eye cream I've ever used and continuing on with eyes for removing my eye makeup, um, I use the Kate Somerville True Lash. It looks like this. And this is a makeup remover that actually helps like restore and replenish your eyelashes so that they can grow longer without breaking. Um, so that whatever mascara you use and you know, sort of like totally take all the moisture out of them and make them brittle so they break. And then you get short eyelashes. This really helps. So, I really like this eye cream. It's more of like a, or I'm sorry, makeup remover. It feels like an eye cream though. It's fantastic. One squirt is enough for both eyes, and one squirt is not that much. So, this thing will last forever. Um, it's not the cheapest eye makeup remover out there, but I think it is pretty much around the same price as the Lancome one. Um, I don't have that one with me. I had a little sample of it. It's a... The Bifacil, it's pretty much, I think it's the same price as that or maybe even a couple dollars cheaper. Because that one's like $47, I think. So, anyway. Oh, I forgot. Um, for treatments. Besides the Exfolicate, which I use twice a week, usually. Um, I also use this Microglycolic Polisher. You can read it. Um, this is a glycolic acid product that you smooth over your face. Um, it's especially good if you use a Clarisonic before you do it because then it can really get into your pores. And I found that it really makes a big difference when you've got deep down clogs in your face because it just kind of takes all the dead stuff off of them and loosens it all up so it can come out without you having to actually get a pimple there. Um, before it'll you know, clear that area. So it really can prevent you from getting pimples where you think you're gonna get them. And then, when my skin's really dry or just if I feel like it, um, I really like the Quench Hydrating Mask. And there's a lot of hydrating masks out there. Um, I like this one the best, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's not like putting oil on your face. That's very, very moisturizing, but this will refresh you and anybody can use it, even if you have oily skin. If your skin's a little bit dehydrated from using acne products or something like that, this is really good. And I've been using this, I actually picked this up recently because 
of the problems I was having with my skin. Okay, so that was my skincare video, and yes, it was really, really long. I used a lot of things, um, but I believe that skincare is absolutely the most important thing that you can possibly do in terms of beauty and like fashion. I think skincare is the most important thing. Um, covering it up with makeup, I just, I don't like it, and that's, that's just one of those things, like, you don't want to have bad skin when you wash your face, you know, there's a lot of girls who, they go over to their boyfriend's house, or, you know, they're in a relationship, and they live with their boyfriend, and they're, like, wearing their makeup to bed to hide their bad skin, I just think that's really sad, so, skincare is definitely number one for me, and that is, you know, that is why I do like the Trishy Color Foundation. I do prefer a foundation that doesn't have that much coverage. I just need, you know, a little bit of evening out, um, a little bit of glow, and not that much to hide. So, if you have any questions on any of the products, um, if you, you know, wonder about any other Kate Summerville products, I've tried a lot of them, um, and I can definitely give you my honest feedback on those. Um, I do have my comments on my videos set so that I have to approve them first simply because I don't want to have trolling on my videos and like just nasty comments for no reason. Um, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. But um, if you want to leave me a comment and ask me a question, I'll definitely approve it. And um, that will also notify me that you left a comment so that I can reply to you as soon as possible. So anyway, um, if you have any requests for reviews of anything in particular, um, or just a general video request, um, let me know. And I will definitely try to make that happen for you. Thank you.